In this video, we are going to see how to capture this data from a web page and put it in Excel or Power BI. Usually, we will copy paste from here and we will have to do a lot of manual cleanup. Now, let's see how to do it without copy paste. In Excel, go to data and look at get and transform data. This is available in newer versions. If you don't see this menu, you will have to download the Power Query add-in and then you will get a separate tab called Power Query. In either case, you should see an option called From Web. So now we will copy paste the link from the web page into Excel. Now Excel is capable of analyzing it. It will identify the tables which are in the web page and then it will give you a list. In this case, this is the HTML document. We are not interested in that. Table 0 is the one we want. Now, at this stage, if I say load, this data will be added to a new Excel sheet as it is. Now, it adds a new sheet and imports the data for you instantly. Depending on the frequency with which the website changes data, these numbers are going to change. This is a live currency table. So now, you don't have to repeat that process. You can right click on it and just say refresh to get the current state. Now, when I save this file, I may want to make sure that whenever I open this file, the current state is automatically picked up from the web page. How do we do that? Inside the table menu, we have external data properties. In this dialog, we have this button called query properties where you can say refresh data when opening the file. And while the file is open, things may keep changing live. No problem, you can refresh it every n number of minutes. The minimum is one minute. This method works in Power BI as well. This works with a table kind of structure, but what if I don't have a table? For example, we have data. There is a name of the game or the product. Then we have the name of the vendor and then we have the pricing. How do we get this kind of data? This functionality works only in Power BI, not in Excel. So I'm going to go to Power BI and specify this URL. It will try to search for a table, but as you see, there is no table. Notice it has already converted it to a table, which is great. But in some cases, it may not be able to do. So here there is one extra option called add table using example. And now it just shows you the web page on top and asks you what do you want to extract from this. So when I double click here, it actually deciphers and shows you various options. So you just type what you want. Upper lowercase matters. I should see Vice City. And now when I press enter, it will figure out, it understands what you want and it has actually picked up all of them. In addition to that, let's say I want the pricing. Again, I type 121 and I pick up the correct one from here. Press enter and it picks it up. So this is how you can import data by providing examples. So as you can see, this works only in Power BI. In Excel, it does not decipher the tables. So to recap, get the URL, go to From Web, pick up the correct table, clean up the data as required, and then import data. That's how you manage web-based data without doing copy-paste. That's it for now. Thank you.